jujitsu definitely I mean, people can get into all kinds of weird stuff, right? People get into surfing, people get into skiing, people get into rock climbing. There's definitely something um, more in jujitsu that gets into people's heads. Yeah. And it definitely happened to me. I mean, I was completely, and I still am. I mean, I still cannot like stop a YouTube video of a cool move. I mean, I just, <laughs> I just have to watch it. Yeah. And I think it's because there's such a cerebral part of it there's something about it and i see this we you know we teach kids and you'll see the 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 knucklehead kids the kind of knuckle dragon kids are kind of big they, they don't really get it but then you get this kid like some smart kid that you can tell they're smart and those are the kids that get really into jujitsu because yeah. they realize like oh if i learn this i can beat that big kid yeah and that's where it starts but yeah jujitsu can definitely be addictive well jujitsu is the only martial art where it really works like in the Bruce Lee movie. Yeah. Where the little guy really can beat the big guy. Yeah. Because yeah. the reality is, like, if you watch the old K-1 days where Bob Sapp was fighting, when Bob Sapp was 375 pounds with abs, like, you've never seen anything like it. He, was he on steroids? He <laughs> was steroids. There was nothing human left. And he beat Ernesto Hoost twice who is arguably one of the top two or three greatest kickboxers ever and Bob Sapp just bum rushed him and Donkey Konged him just beat him down with clubbing punches because he was so much bigger than him yeah, and, to, like and to your point I was in Japan I was with Dean as a matter of fact when Nogira submitted Sapp that was insane. That was insane. That was insane. That was a perfect example. Perfect example. But, but boy, it had to be Noguera though, because Sap Sap dropped him on his head, pile drived him on his head. The point is that in jujitsu, like maybe in MMA, it's a little bit different because you know obviously Bob Sap dropped Noguera on his head, and yeah. most people would have been done then. Mm -hmm. But Noguera was legendarily tough. But a small man can tap out a much larger, stronger man on a regular basis. Yeah. I watched Rico Rodriguez in Abu Dhabi go against Marcelo Garcia. Oh, yeah. I was there. Were you there? Yeah, yeah in LA. Yeah, 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 yeah it was awesome. amazing. Yeah. So, and when Rico threw him on his back, when yep. Marcelo took Rico's back, Boom. so Rico threw himself backwards and slammed on top of Mar like like Marcelo's like a backpack on Rico's back. Rico's like two forty something, maybe even heavier. Threw himself backwards and landed all his weight on Marcelo. Mm -hmm. Marcel shook it off and leg locked him. Yep. Incredible. Yeah, incredible. Incredible. I mean, Marcel was like 160 pounds, yeah. maybe 170, maybe. Yeah. But just so skilled and so dangerous with his jujitsu that he was the favorite in that, yeah. which is incredible. And that's, that's where I think that addiction comes in, because I think mm -hmm. it's just a cerebral thing where people realize that it's, like you said, it's this real force. When I, one of my, uh, my, my kid asked me, you know the movie The Incredibles? Yes. Know, there's kid, these people have superpowers, and my... Uh, my son asked me, hey, dad, is there really such a thing as superpowers? And I'm like, jujitsu. It's definitely a superpower. It's a superpower, you know? And if you remember the days before anybody knew it, if you oh, knew yeah. a little tiny bit, man, you were just <laughs> getting, you, no one could stop you. It was awesome. you start uh it was 92 or 93 damn you got in yeah, early i got in early luckily i i had a pre-ufc yep we we knew when, when we watched that first ufc we all knew well wow. there's there's three or four of us that knew that hoist that royce gracie was gonna royce <laughs> <laughs> every scrap i'd get into you know i'd just force someone into the rear naked choke or force them into, but they had no idea what was happening so it was actually right. amazing but uh but again, I thought at that time that that that, that was jujitsu. Like there was this finite thing. And, a lot of people did. Yeah, and then you realize, you know, that it's completely unending, and it changes every day. There's no end. Yeah. Jujitsu yeah. doesn't end. Yeah, it goes on forever. Like you can't get. You can always get better. It's yeah. not. It's not something it, until you achieve the speed of light. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and that's another another great thing about jujitsu is because it, like combat it reflects life and if the day you start saying that you're good to go like in leadership position or whatever task you're working on the day you say i've learned everything there is to learn about this is the day you start to lose and i, I know that humility um is something that 
you you have to keep yourself in check because yeah. again i got asked the other day you know when were you at, you know when was your high point of leadership and i'm like i never had a high point of leadership i was always trying to learn i was always trying to figure out what i was doing wrong and what mistakes i was making because if you don't do that that's pro that's something i learned from jujitsu you know if you don't do that then that you're gonna get passed by and other people are gonna figure some new way of doing it and you're gonna be left in the dark Yeah, I, as much as I like to use like the term that was perfect, there really is nothing perfect in human beings. There's always room for improvement. There's always a shorter path. There's always a quicker victory. There's always a, there's there's uh, there's always new things to learn. And as soon as you start thinking that you've mastered something to the point of 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 an end, like you've you kind of missed out what it's all about in the first place. It's all about, you're constantly uncomfortable. You're supposed to be constantly uncomfortable. Yeah. And then in, in these little victories that you get, the good thing about when people tap, you get, a, oh, I get a little nice feeling right here. Yeah. I get, and then I did they're it like, right. let's go again. The point is that it's a, it's a long path, a long, arduous path. And I think anything that's worth doing is probably like that. Uh, there's no doubt about it. And, and that's another, another piece, again, another place where jujitsu is like life is you, you think... At some point, you think you know, like you think you're good, you think you're doing pretty good, and then you just get smacked. Mm. You know, you get smacked with something. And like now, like when you were 25, you were like, "I'm pretty, I'm pretty good to go." You know, I'm pretty, I pretty much know what's up. Mm. And then when you're 30, you're like, "I didn't know anything when I was 25." Yeah, I was an idiot and five then, years ago. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and it's true. Like even, and so I think one of the one of the things that provides some small portion of like maturity as a human being and as a man is when you get to the point where you actually realize that you don't know everything and you're like looking at yourself like I'm 44 and I'm like yeah I'm gonna learn so much in the next three years five years and I'm gonna mm -hmm. look at myself at 44 and go yeah you see how stupid you were then and when you come to that realization, I think that's a, pr a pretty positive thing because it takes a while to figure out that, hey, you don't have everything figured out. You're you're pretty stupid right now, even though it, you don't think so. <laughs> Another thing that things like jujitsu teach you, and I say jujitsu, but it's really a, a, an all martial arts thing. The problem with the other martial arts, other than jujitsu, is at a certain point in time, you can't really practice them 100%. Yeah. Like striking, yep. you, you really can't practice striking 100% for very long or your brain starts to give out. It's just yep. a fact. Yeah. And jujitsu, you can. Jujitsu, you can do it deep, deep into your 50s. Mm -hmm. Like what you get out of it stays the same, regardless yep. of your, regardless of the success, like what you're getting out of it, even if you're getting tapped, what you're getting out of it is doing your best and overcoming and improving upon what your best is every day. And doing so, in a, a, a situation where there's extreme consequences you're gonna get strangled you know you're gonna get your arm broken if you don't tap you're gonna get your leg fucked up if you don't tap there's it's not as extreme as combat obviously but it is as extreme as you can get in a a sport that you're participating in an activity that you're participating in voluntarily in America at 5:30 on a Tuesday where you're going to get 30 people that are going to show up slap hands together and then then hug it out after it's over and uh, go you're going to be here tomorrow yeah all right, I'll see you man and then you know back again tomorrow same thing that's another um, kind of primal piece that makes jiu jitsu so intense is if you and me roll like and I get you or you get me and I tap in my like heart I know that if you and I were fighting for survival I just lost and you'd have killed me and I see this with little kids when little kids compete you tell them hey listen just go out there have fun it's gonna be fun you know just go out there and do your best I don't care if you win or lose just go out and have a good time you tell them that you tell them that you tell them that if they get tapped they they start crying it's so emotional and why is that because a part of them inside their head that they don't even know exists knows that that person had they been in a mortal struggle they got beat 
Yeah, they got their ass kicked. Yeah. It's not like someone, this is what I always say, like somebody dunks a basketball on you, yeah. it sucks, but it doesn't mean anything yeah. unless you decide it means something. Well, well, what does basketball escalate into? What do all fights. sports, <laughs> all sports escalate into fights? Yes. So if you, let's get rid of the bat, the yes. ball, whatever else, let's just fight. Let's just, that's why it's, you know, that's why the, I think the UFC has been so highly successful because it is, it's what, it's, it's the ultimate, you know, in combat sport again, you know, barring combat itself yeah well it's also why the dorks and pencil necks hate it so much because they think it's a regression back to the the primal days of caveman <laughs> combat like what are we supporting It's Stuart Cooper here. I really hope you're enjoying all the new videos on my YouTube channel. There's a lot more content to come over the next few months, so please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to keep up to date with new video releases, you can click the small bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you get notifications when a new video is uploaded. Also, if you want to support my channel, you can go to xmarshall.com and use the code SCFILMS for a 10% discount.